Seven. Okay. 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 Wow. So what you guys just saw was Team Sentinels, which is a pro team fighting a also professional team NRG, which is probably one of the most popular professional teams in the Apex Legends community. And Team NRG got absolutely destroyed by this Arcstar play. I mean, they got just walked over. If you guys want to learn how to use this Arcstar play to just walk over teams like you saw in that clip, we're going to go over it in this video. So stick around. What is up YouTube? My name is Quake V and welcome back to the Mastering Series, a series we do on this channel where I teach you guys everything and anything there is to know about Apex Legends. Today, we're going to be talking about this insanely overpowered Arcstar strategy, how you guys can start using it in your games as well. But before we get into it, make sure to do me a huge favor, go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so I can annoy you every time I post a video on this channel. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you go check out my socials as well as my Twitch channel channel i'll leave that down below in the description if you want to go watch me live on twitch um i always stream live at 8 a.m eastern i'd love to talk to you guys or just answer any questions you may have about the game but without further ado let's get right into how you guys can start using this arc star strategy and why it's so good now this arc star strategy goes against all logic so bear with me here basically when you're using an arc star you think about what you want to throw it at the enemy right you want to stick the enemy with an arc star so that you do insane damage on them and then you can push them and kill them and normally i mean that's normal that's what you should think when you have an arc star in your hand but this arc star strategy goes against that logic completely and just any logic that is in a fps shooter you actually want to arc star your own teammate it sounds stupid but bear with me here so basically what you do is you throw an arc star at your teammate and you can set this up in many different ways but you want to make sure that you're throwing it on a character with high mobility. The two best characters to throw this arc star on are Pathfinder and Wraith. If you have a Pathfinder or a Wraith on your team, that is who you want to be sticking uh, with these arc stars. If you can get you and your teammate to throw an arc star on this Pathfinder and Wraith, it's even better because now you have double the damage and double the arc stars on your team. So basically, like I said, what you want to do is throw the arc star at your teammate. Now, before you do that, you want to make sure that you know exactly where the enemy is. And you usually want to focus, you want to, you want, usually want to do this to a team that's camping inside a building. So those teams that are really just annoying and they have three G7 scouts, they're camping on high ground, they're Watson ulted, Watson fence, caustic traps, all of that. This is what that strategy for. This strategy is for breaking down those heavy defenses that you find in your ranked games or just public games um, when you're wandering around. But you stick your teammate and then immediately, right after your teammate sticked, um, they should be standing still by the way, tell your teammate to stand still. Right after your teammate stick, you need to yell at them to go. You need to say, go, 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 go. The Pathfinder or the Wraith, usually Pathfinder, if it's a high ground that you need to get to, will grapple up um, onto the team. And as soon as he grapples up, that's when your teammates want to start moving in as well to follow up on the damage. Or if it's not a high ground, simply move into the fight. Like you guys saw in the clip in that tunnel, that was a very good place to do an arc star play. So you stick the Pathfinder and then he grapples up there and literally sends himself into the enemy team. Before the enemy team can even react, there's a Pathfinder flying into their face. Both the arc stars blow up or just one arc star blows up and does up to 100 damage and stuns the enemy um, at the same time. Your Pathfinder is at a huge advantage. If he does get a good arc star play in, he will stun all three people and he will be almost impossible to shoot at. If you guys have ever tried to aim while arc started it's almost impossible you're almost like stuck on your screen so your pathfinder is up there he's most likely going to get um at least one person down because the arc star not only slowed them but remember it also did damage it could have possibly even broke all three of the enemy's shields so you go up there and you follow up afterwards um on your pathfinder's damage that he dealt even if your pathfinder goes down it's perfectly fine as long as you're there the follow-up on the arc star that blew up on the enemy you'll most likely clean up even if you you go down, um, you'll most likely win that fight just because of the arc star play. But basically, you want to focus the enemies that are slowed. So if there are any enemies that get slowed by the arc star, your goal, of course, is to stun all three enemies, 
those are the enemies that you want to focus. Now, this arc star play is really, really good because um, not only can it get through these heavy defenses, but in particular, it gets through the one thing in the game that is meant for, uh, you know, destroying grenades, the Watson ult. The Watson ult right now is used like crazy, especially in high levels of play. Every single team uses a Watson because Watson is absolutely needed or else you'll just get arced out of any building you're trying to hold. But what this arc star play does is a Watson ult can only eat nades that are mid air. A Watson ult cannot eat nades that are already stuck to a surface. So a Watson ult will not eat the nades um, that are stuck onto a player. So even if there's a Watson ult there, as long as you stick the player um, out of the vicinity of the Watson ult and then run into the vicinity of the Watson ult, the Watson ult cannot eat that arc star. So it is a amazing way to get past, like I said, those super heavily fortified um, teams that are on super like OP high grounds um, that you don't really know how to deal with. Um, also on the high grounds, if there's no other like easy, fast way to get up, make sure that your Pathfinder sends a zip line up onto the top of the building right before he goes so that your teammates can quickly zip line up behind him right after he, you know, grapples in like a, you know, kamikaze uh, warrior in there <laughs> with arc stars stuck onto him. Now, how do you counter this insane arc star strategy? So obviously if everyone's using this arc star strategy, you're not always going to be the person who's doing the attacking. A lot of times you're going to be the person who's getting attacked by this arc star strategy. So how do you counter it? How do you um, stop dying and getting so easily wiped by a strategy like this? To be honest, currently in the game, there's not really many direct ways of countering. In fact, there is no ways to directly counter this strategy, but there is one way that is pretty effective at doing it. So if you know they're gonna do an arc star strategy, say you even hear them arc star, um, and the best way to, to know if a team is doing an arc star strategy is if you hear them arc star, but the arc star doesn't go anywhere close to your team, um, and it isn't thrown in the direction of your team, that's usually how you know that they're sticking their teammate and they're about to jump in. So the one way to counter this is by using a Gibby shield. Um, if you know they're going to do this arc star strategy, which I, that already takes, you know, a lot of skill and you have to be able to hear it, which is also audio is definitely an issue in Apex. Um, but you want to throw down this Gibraltar bubble and you want to stand on the back side of the Gibraltar bubble. Basically, what you want to do is use the Gibraltar bubble as the containment zone so that the person that just got stuck by arc stars is going to run into your team. They're going to be in the middle of the Gibraltar dome and you guys are going to be on the back outside of it. The arc star is going to blow up and you guys won't be affected by it because the the uh, the bubble will protect you. Um, and obviously if they end up going say past the bubble, then you can go back inside the bubble in order to not be hit by the arc stars. Like I said, it's not gonna work every single time, but this is probably the most solid strategy in order to counter this arc star uh, strategy. Now, the only other way to counter this arc star strategy is to split up. So if you hear them um, doing, you know, sticking their teammates with an arc star, or you just think that they're going to do an arc star um, play, then what you can do is tell your team, hey, I think they're going to do an arc star play. We should all split up on three different corners of, you know, whatever room or wherever you're playing. Um, another really cool thing you can do is to put a, if you have a Wraith on your team, put them close as, put, you know, the Wraith as the closest person to the enemy team to try to bait the person who is, you know, running in with all the arc stars stuck on them to chow, to blow up your Wraith. Because the Wraith, what she can do is while that person's running in, she can bait them to run at the Wraith and then she will queue out and she won't take any damage from the arc stars and your two teammates will be safe. And as soon as your Wraith queues out and is out of her queue, then you can shoot down that person that just ran in um, balls deep with all the arc stars stuck onto them. So that's the only other viable strategy that you can use in order to counter um, this arc star strategy that everyone's using right now. But yeah, guys, that's the arc star strategy that all these pro teams are abusing right now in order to absolutely just run over other professional teams. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this arc star strategy. And if there's any 500 IQ ideas that you have in order to counter the strategy or even make the strategy even better. But other than that, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you go down below and hit that like button. Also, if you enjoy these kinds of guys, I do make a lot of them on this channel, so feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know exactly when I make another video. Also, make sure to check out my socials and my Twitch. I'll leave a link that down in the description. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. This has been Quake V, and I'll see you guys in the next one.